<clears throat> hey guys, Matt Guzman here, back with another video, and today is going to be about how to get the Movie Making Merit Badge. So, in my other video I did, I was mentioning the Scholarship Merit Badge, and with the Scholarship Merit Badge, it's pretty simple, it only has five requirements, while well, Movie Making is, pretty, is similar to it as well, having only four requirements. So, like I said before in my Scholarship video, if you know what you're doing, then you should be able to knock this Merit Badge out within a day or two. So, moving on to the first requirement, number one says to discuss and demonstrate the proper elements of a good motion picture, and those elements are visual storytelling, rhythm, the 180 axis rule, camera movement, leadership, framing and composition of camera shots, and lens selection. So those are some key terms you should know when making a good motion picture. Moving on to number two. Number two is actually in a long one because it says to do the following, not one or two, you need to do all of it. So, 2A says, in a three to four paragraph treatment, tell a story that you plan to produce, and then make sure the treatment conveys a visual picture. So, the thing about this, you don't need to actually make something yet, you just need to plan it out. So, it's pretty straightforward. B says to prepare a storyboard for a motion picture, and this can be done with rough sketches and stick figures. If you don't know, a storyboard is a visual representation that you draw out in order to know what your scenes are going to look like. So instead of having it all in your mind, you draw it out so you and other people can know what it's supposed to look like. And once again, it can be done with rough sketches and stick figures. So my original storyboard was to make a cooking thing based off of Come Dine With Me. So I was planning out what kind of shots I'd use with the food, how we, how we would prepare it, like the wide shots and everything, and just planning out how the shots are going to look with rough sketches or stick figures, like it says in the requirement. And that's all you have to do for storyboarding, just draw out how your scenes are going to look like, so you have a visual representation of your plan. 2C, pretty long one, it says to demonstrate the following motion picture shooting techniques. So, these are all to do with camera and how you're supposed to shoot things. So, using, using a tripod, panning a camera, framing a shot, selecting an angle, selecting proper lighting, and handheld shooting. So those are all some techniques you should use when shooting motion pictures. And the last thing for two is 2D. Using those motion picture techniques, plan one of the following programs. While you're planning them, start with a treatment and complete this requirement by presenting to a pack, your troop, a patrol, or a class. So once again, 2D, is to plan one of the following programs, and those options are option one, film or videotape a court of honor and show it to an audience. Option two, create a short film of your own using the techniques you learned. And option number three, shoot a vignette that could be used to train a new scout in a scouting skill. So this one I chose two because I just thought it'd be easier for me since when I was doing the merit badge, the court of honor hasn't it wasn't until like another month, and I didn't want to waste another month, so I went to number two. Number two is create a short feature of your own, and if you aren't aware yet, I actually have this YouTube channel, and I have my main my main YouTube channel, so I did this one since while make while working on movie making, I could work on other merit badges and film stuff for those. And the merit badges I chose were the chess merit badge and the cycling merit badge, and I'll explain what I did different with those videos in a second. And the third one, I could do that, but I'm doing that with my troop right now, and since movie making is on a monthly merit badge for my troop. So that one I'm going to do with them. But I did number two, and here's how I did it. With the chess merit badge video, it was the first one I did where I used additional footage to break apart the slides so the viewer would stay engaged and not get disinterested. With my cycling merit badge, it was the first one where I used B-roll Instead of using just generic cycling, I used my own B-roll, which is footage that I actually did myself. So I used this to, to break apart the slides. And basically, it was a way to make it so people weren't just staring at slides the entire time. And that's what I'm doing right now for my video too. I'm explaining how this is what I did for my movie making by breaking up the slide. So, back to my movie making, this is how... This is how you're supposed to demonstrate different shots by using footage that you've made using the techniques from all the shooting and stuff. That's it for requirement number two of movie making. So 
Moving on to requirement number three, it says to do one of the following. So this actually does have the option to do one. So 3A is with your parents' permission and counselor's approval. Visit a film set and or television production studio and watch how the production is done. So in my scholarship merit badge video, which I mentioned earlier, if you haven't seen it, the link is in the, descrip in the description. But So as a part of my school schedule, I actually have a television production class. And in there, I produce the news for the school. So we actually have a, a, a school studio, so I'm able to just go in there and watch how it's done. And it's kind of cool since I'm in an advanced class, I could actually participate in a production as well. So not only do I need, not only do I see the film set, I'm also part of the production. So watching how the production is done, I'm able to just get that checked off. So that's how I did number uh, 3A. But if you don't have a TV production class, the second option is to explain to your counselor the elements of the zoom lens and then three important parts of them. That's it for number three. You're almost done. You've got one more requirement. The last one, number four, says to find out about three movie making career opportunities. In doing so, pick one of them and find out about the education, training, and experience that's required for this profession. Once you're done with that, you need to discuss the career with your counselor and explain why the profession might interest you. So this is pretty straightforward. You're just looking up a profession and finding out information about it. So you have a little bit more intel on how those kind of jobs work. And then you discuss your findings with your counselor and that's it. You have the movie making merit badge. Like I said before, it's pretty easy. It's simple. As long as you know what you're doing and you're on top of it, you can knock it out within a day or two. Thank you for watching my video on how to get the movie making merit badge. If you enjoyed it, please like the video and turn on notifications on my channel and be on the lookout for any other merit badge videos I have in the future or videos in general. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.